Now what I'm saying is Peach and Zelda, oh they're well fit. I mean I totally would. I would as well. I mean those melons <sighs> on Peach. Would you sit there stop objectifying them? They're just human. Stop being so misogynistic. Oh come on, I bet you would as well. No. I... Mind you Zelda's off limits, I mean Link wouldn't be too happy. Oh come on, have you heard him? He's obviously a puff <laughs> That's just homophobic. And Peach, she was killed by Donkey Kong. And you know what they say, once you've gone black, you never go back. <laughs> Listen to yourself, you're being racist now. I'm leaving. Alright. Jeez, what's his problem? He's a PC gamer. Zachary Wilhelm, and he's talking us through his new summer range. Zachary, tell us. You see, I'm I'm very avant-garde in the way I design. I like to see the like predict the future and to see it come to life. It's so wonderful. So I see the counterculture as the way forward. So this new range, all the models are counterculture models. Just check these guys out. Yeah, let's check them out. Here we have part of the new fat range, which promises to keep all those overweight, insecure youths confident that they're hip and up to date with the rest of the kids who mock them. Yeah, there's a marginally increased chance of a kiss there, I think. Exactly. Oh, now this one, fabulous. This guy weighs approximately five stone, and he's looking amazing. This really shows off just how easy it is to wrap your arms around him. Yeah, twice, I should imagine. Isn't he a darling? Oh, now I've heard of this one. This is the new range for the sexually confused and the eager to impress range, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. Just look at that flat chest and that uncombed hair. This is one for the new season of new wave kids who seek out other points of view to represent their own. Likely to have a lot of takers this season. And a lot of upset fathers, I should imagine. Well, that certainly wasn't I hope that way. Ah, uh, so I certainly think so. <laughs> so do you think this new man will raise a fan base then? Well, I've already got to hold a Mauritius, so I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where would fashion designers be without the insecure and self-loathing? Tune in next time. Listen, I've had enough of your shit in my life, to be honest. And I just need you to leave. Just go away. Just get out of my fucking life. Listen. It's just... I don't feel like he really cares about me. Sometimes, at the start of the day, it's like I'm all that matters to him. But come evening time, I start to feel like he's just using me. He doesn't pay me any attention whatsoever, and I feel like I should just walk out, but every morning he's so kind, and it's the best thing in the world. I feel like I'm someone to him in the mornings. And that's why I've been putting up with the long, lonely evenings, because I know that sooner or later he'll be coming back. But I can't take it anymore. I need to move on, and I don't know how. I don't have the strength to confront him about it, and it's driving me insane. I just wish I knew why he does this to me. See. Well, could this be that because you're a toaster? Racist. The dragons listen to Dave's pitch with open minds. However, it's clear to see that dragon number one is not impressed and is putting a lot of thought into how to break Dave's self-esteem. Any questions? Well, first thing that springs to mind... What drugs were you on when you came up with this idea? Well, um... I just thought there was a significant gap in the market for a gadget of this caliber and I've got loads of orders already and I just wanted to get a little bit of money for my business to um, like make the uh, delivery service a little bit more efficient. Well I'm going to be honest with you, this idea is awful. I'm out. That's two dragons lost, but will dragon number three have a different opinion? Well, uh, I... Uh disagree with the previous two dragons, and I am willing to offer you six gold coins in exchange for 97.3% of the company. Thank you for the offer, but that wouldn't really benef benefit me. Uh, I mean, I was thinking more in the ballpark of about 200 gold coins for 20% of the company. Hmm, let me think. Um, No, that idea stinks worse than a troll bowling in Haggis. I'm out. Two dragons left now, and Dave is starting to get anxious. Well, I love it. I'm perfectly happy to take your offer that dragons be declined. 
<coughs> what? For God's sake. I'm out. Thank you for considering. Um, but anyway, uh, you're my last hope, Dragon 5. Well, I see what you're saying, but... That's all of us out, now be on your way. Thank you, dragons. Sweetie, I'm home. Oh my god! It's not what it looks like! Dude, you forgot to meet me at the pub again! So, what are you going to ask me? Are you going to Amy's party? Nah, I think I'll probably just stay in and watch Name of Combs. Might need a plus one though. Ask Naomi. We broke up, bro. Oh, sorry to hear, sorry to hear that. How did it happen? She slept with one of our best friends. Right. Okay. Quit the innocent tech, mate. I know it was you. Right, put your hands up. This is a robbery. Put down the gun and get back to work on the meth. Sorry, boss. I was only joking. Wait, come back here a second. You killed him! He was an undercover cop. He would have ratted us out anyway. We have to hide the body. Oh my god, I have gunshots. Why is there a dead hobo on the floor? There is no hobo. Am I dreaming? <sighs> Thank fuck, it was all a dream. <laughs> this sketch makes no sense. I know, I still need to iron out a couple of the minor details. Hello, I'm Jack and I'm from Zenith Stay Right Windows and I'm here to let you know about all sorts of exclusive offers we have on many fittings like windows, facials, guttering and much more. On you a few days ago? I might have, yeah. We're also offering a 40% discount for a before and after photo. I told you that if you ever bothered me again, I would make you regret it. Yes, we've been getting that from a lot of your neighbours as well. But if I could leave you with a free quote with a two-year hold and no obligation, would you consider us in future? Look, I don't want new windows, and if I did, I would go out and find someone to fit them for me. I don't just sit around thinking, oh, I need some new windows. I know, shall I, shall I go out and get some? Hmm, I know, I have a better idea. Why don't I just wait for someone to come knocking at my door and spew bubble at me? Fair enough, I suppose. But our windows are actually police approved. You see, they get convicts to try and test them by breaking through them, and so far, no one has. I will say this one final time. I don't want windows from your company, or anything else for that matter. And if you do not leave now, I will have to apply force. We also offer you a further discount by paying you the money that you paid for your current windows, and you only pay the difference between those ones and your new state-of-the-art recycled ones. <laughs> right, that's it. No luck here, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so hilarious. That's so funny. Thanks. Uh, I can't believe I've never met you before. I mean, Jake hardly ever talks about you. Why is that? Oh, he always forgets me. Typical brother stuff, I guess. Oh god, yeah, classic Jake. <laughs> hey, we should uh, we should go out sometime. Like just the two of us. Oh, we go to the pub or something, and um, like uh, maybe go back to mine uh, if, if you want, of course. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Um, okay, let's get my. Okay, I left my phone at home, so if you just... Oh, yeah, just write your number on my hand. Oh, yeah, sure. I and think, uh, um, I'll text you when I get home. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, hang on. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> there we are. Can you read that? Right. Yeah, I can read that. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Yeah, so um, uh, tell me a bit about yourself. What is it you do for a living? Oh, I'm a transsexual porn star. Oh, so that's where I've seen you from. Keep up the good work. Thanks.
things. Oh, um, I, I must say I am a little bit taken aback by that. It doesn't bother you, does it? Oh, pff, no, not at all. I mean, come on, it's the, it's the 21st century. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what, what even is a man, woman, or what? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think what I'm trying to say is, uh, in, in other words, I, I think. Do you have a, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, one of them? <laughs> of course, I'd have a jump if I didn't. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I don't know how to say this, and uh, I don't want to be rude or anything. You're a lovely person, and I really like you, but I, this really isn't the kind of thing I'm into. So I, I don't know if... Oh, it's nothing. Just think of it as, as a massive clitoris. What the... Oh, go on then. I suppose I can't knock what I haven't tried. Yeah, go on. I know I really like you. That's the spirit. Yeah, so... Oh, oh, it's nothing special. No, come on. You must do something dead interesting. <laughs> I really don't. Literally. I, I'm, I'm just a customer service assistant at Asda. That's literally it. It's dull as shit. Asda? Yeah. Oh. Asda? Asda. Oh, oh, go oh god, that's, oh, my clothes, oh, that's disgusting. And, uh, oh, okay. That's the, 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 oh, the thing is, you're, you're dead sweet and all, and, and you're lovely, and I really like you, and all that, and, oh, it's my hand, okay. But I can't really associate myself with someone as disgusting enough to work at Asda. Oh, uh, no, I can't, I can't, no. I can't get past this, we're done. Just, no. Oh, Asta? I'm sorry, I'm disgusting. Listen, mate. Friend. Bros. Sister. Sister? Don't listen to her. She doesn't know anything. Thanks, it's just, I, I don't get how she, a transsexual porn star. A hot transsexual porn star. Regardless, how can somebody like that, which is fine, but how can somebody like that have the audacity to call me disgusting for working in Asda? Asda? You work in Asda? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh God. Take, take the shirt, take the shirt. Oh, oh. deal with my son's problem. Yes, the goth is dealt with. How did you do it? I blessed his shower. Hi there, and welcome back to the Psychic Network. I'm Christian Salinger. And up now, we've got our resident psychic agony on Boris Hayden Welch here to answer some of your prayers. Over to you, Boris. Thank you, Christian. And, and naturally, I'm delighted to be here and happy to take a few of your calls for you. Now, first caller, you're on the air. Uh, yeah, hello? Hi, yes. How can I help you? Well, uh, you tell me. Give it back. Alright, okay, guys, you all know the rules. Does anyone need reminding? No, for fuck's sake, we play this all the time! We know what to do! Well, yes, well, I was trying to be subtle about it, because you know Sloth needs to be told everything twice. I don't. Wait, what did he say? Should we tell the rules over again? Um... I don't know. 
Well, we're playing now anyway, so you'll pick it up as we go along. I'll make it easy for you. Alright, now place your bets. I'll bet 30. What's that mean? That's a diamond symbol! Oh god, I could use some diamonds right now. Um, I fold. Useless bastard. Oh, I see 30 is by 10. Okay, now it's livening up. Uh, last, will you stop that? Sorry, uh, I've got a queen. I'll match it. Yeah, I'll match it too. Fuck! 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 I fall. Luck not your lady tonight, Beth. I, I saw you in the toilet, looking at yourself in the mirror, trying to chat yourself up. Is there anyone else worth the attention? No, <sighs> worth the attention. Anyway, it's my turn. I will. Ah, I'll raise sixty. All right, let's see what the next card is. Interesting. Your turn, Envy. Oh God, I wish I had better cards. I fold. This game always works against me. I want this table. Is it my turn? You folded, you brain dead hunk. My, my turn. Um, I frog. Damn, that queen is so fucking hot. You're not supposed to tell us your cards. Sorry, it's, it's just that beautiful long flowing hair and the, the boobies and the, the lips. Now listen here, Lust. We've told you before, if you need a break, you can go and take one. But don't bring the card back all shiny and say that it's laminated. Hurry up, mate. Okay, I need a break. I'll fold. Raise you to a hundred. Okay, I will. Oh, for God's sake, lost. It's not that kind of a game. All right, I'll see your bet. And the last card is. Would tell me where it buys his jacket. Would you just turn over the card? <sighs> no, can't go that high. I fold. <laughs> well, that leaves the two of us. You stay in him. You know it. Me too. Well, is it my turn now? I will light your bed on fucking yes, fire. Yes. Well, in the meantime, four jacks. <clears throat> Royal flash of diamonds. <laughs> How do you do it, really? Well, basically, uh, I'll take them back to my place and uh, quote some Shakespeare and tell them they have nice titties and I have a very big nine inch. Not you! The back of the Irish. I want to be Irish. You're not fucking Irish. And you're not really that wrathful. I mean, if you were, you would have killed Sloth a long time ago. Can somebody pass me a bottle to piss in? All of you, shut up. Let's just play another round. Oh, but I've uh, got no money. Take Sloths. Mm. No, don't, don't. Oh, you're a wanker. Oh, I was in a better sketch. You know what? Fuck this. I'm done. I'm going to play Cluedo with the five stages of grief. Woo! <laughs>